Greetings guys, gals, non-binary pals and welcome back to another video. I hope that you are well and I hope that you are fighting because there is a lot to be fighting for. As usual, there'll be a link in the description to the page of my website with a bunch of petitions, donations, emails to send to MPs, etc, etc. Now today I am back once again with the cactus that I somehow managed to kill. It shriveled up and it died. And uh, I think it might have something to do with the fact that I keep it right next to my computer, but like this one's fine. Look at her. I don't know why she died. I don't know how she died, but she's dead. So I should not be a plant parent. I killed a cactus. A cact, they're meant to be unkillable. And I kill, <sighs> I should never have plants or children. <laughs> So today is the first video of the month, which is usually a checking up on the straights. And that is what I intended on doing. Um, it's now been a year since I did my first straight TikTok video, which is the video that like made my channel like blow up. It made my channel grow to what it is now. So I was gonna do like a celebratory, like one year since my first straight TikTok video. Yay, let's revisit it. Uh, but then I got sidetracked. And I stumbled back onto conservative TikTok and boy, oh boy, oh boy, I went down a spiral. I watched so many TikToks and I was getting so angry. I saved so many that I cannot get through them all today because I could talk about all of these for literally forever. Um, but yeah, that's what we're gonna do today. We are gonna go over some conservative TikToks, which are effectively also straight TikToks, just a different side of straight TikTok, you know? <laughs> Uh, so yeah, that's what we're gonna do today and I will do my checking up on the heteros like my standard monthly video in the next one. So if you want to see that one, subscribe and I'll be here making fun of the straights because that's always a fun time, right? I forgot to put my earrings in. I don't know who I am anymore. I am so sorry. I'm sorry, uh, but do you not remember what happened during the election? Do we, do you not remember that happening at all? You know, uh, when there were people there literally shouting against democracy. Like there were, there were like Republicans literally chanting to like end democracy. Everyone was claiming that all the votes were fraudulent. People be were being like stopped from voting. Everyone was chanting to recount the votes. And then they stormed the Capitol. They literally broke into parliament buildings and were like stealing shit and being violent because Joe Biden won. Did that happen when Trump won? I don't remember that happening. People were upset, but there was no one like, you know, being violent and breaking into parliament buildings, like what happened when Biden won. Th they literally were like destroying shit. In the country that they're meant to love, they were just like literally destroying shit. Also, I think it's really funny because conservatives really think that people like Joe Biden. Like, I'm sure liberals do or a decent amount of liberals do, but like the people that they're mainly attacking are like leftists, right? Like myself and like most of you watching. We don't like Joe Biden. Joe Biden is not a good person and he's definitely not who we wanted to be running the US, right? That's something that's like so jarring is that a majority of politicians are conservative, whether they're a liberal or conservative party, a majority of them are conservative. Joe Biden is very conservative. He is nowhere near left wing. He's like more conservative than the conservative party in New Zealand. Like, he's not liberal. He's not even anywhere close to being like a socialist as you claim him to be. People still don't want him to be president. He was just the better of two bad options. And that's what's happened like literally like every single election that has ever happened in the US. Everyone is conservative in that country. Literally everyone. Your idea of what is like liberal or leftist is so skewed. Anyway, didn't happen. When Trump won, no one was burning shit down. When Biden won, people were throwing a fucking fit. So, I don't know where you were, but like, you kind of just like looked away. <laughs> what is a 
so close to being self-aware. It's so funny. It's so funny. They're out here wanting to teach creationism and also saying things like being gay or having homosexual activities is unnatural and being trans is unnatural. But like, bro, so much science says that you're wrong. So much science. Like science literally is telling you that you're wrong. Like homosexuality exists in so many species of animal because it is natural and the idea of it not being natural was entirely created by humans. And a lot of what you say is that it goes against God. I don't fucking believe in God. So I really do not give a fuck what God thinks of me because I think that he isn't real. So I don't care. And that's like from a more scientific perspective. What do you mean we don't care about a science book? You're the one who refuses to get vaccinated. Like what most doctors and scientists that, you know, created the vaccine are saying that you should get vaccinated and you're like, no, I don't want to listen to science. Bro? Who needs the science book? Cause I think it's you. I think it's you. What is something people are not ready to hear? Okay, I'll say it. Men are mistreated in this country. <laughs> That is, firstly, one of the funniest statements I've ever heard. But let's hear her out, shall we? Men are very mistreated in this country. Think about it. They're taught to be ashamed of their uh, nature, their masculine nature. <laughs> they are not taught to be ashamed of their masculine nature. There's a big problem with toxic masculinity, and that's literally the problem. We're teaching men that they're allowed to express emotions and more feminine traits. They don't have to be forced into a box of what people consider masculine. However, unfortunately, that is still not a majority of people saying that. That's why male suicide rates are so high. Because so many people try to force them into toxic boxes and force them to be masculine. It causes so many problems in so many aspects. It's why there's so much abuse towards women. It's why there are so many male suicide attempts and successful male suicide. There are so many problems that come from being having forced masculinity. You can't sit here and tell me that they're being forced out of their masculinity. That's just not true at all. Society is still very much pushing toxic masculinity upon all men. If they dare open a door for a woman or offer to lift a heavy box, they're sexist. Literally, who said that? You are just pulling shit straight out of your ass now. It's sexist to say, oh, you're a woman, so you can't do that, so I'll do it for you. Yeah, that's kind of misogynistic, saying that I can't do it because I'm a woman. But just doing it to be kind is totally fine. If you're like, oh, let me help you with that. That's fine. I don't care. Opening the door for someone... Anyone can open the door for anyone. You don't have to be a man to open a door for a woman. You can also be a woman opening the door. Like literally, who cares? It's only a problem when you say it's your job to do it and that women shouldn't do it. That's when it's a problem. If you're like, oh, your weak female muscles is too, they're not strong enough to lift this heavy box. That's sexist. Just doing it to be helpful is not sexist. Literally no one is saying that, okay? Okay, great. If um, they compliment a woman, they're a pig. If they don't compliment a woman, then they're judgmental. This again depends on context. Context is so important. And so many of these people completely take context out of it in order to push whatever fucking agenda they feel like pushing that day. So let me break it down for you. There's a difference between admiring someone and complimenting them and like sexualizing or objectifying them when that is not wanted. Like sometimes when I'm out in public, I get people of any gender coming up to me and just saying, I really like your hair. Your hair is really cool. And I love that. That makes me feel really appreciated. It like makes me happy. I'm like, oh, I'm so glad people like my hair. It's really cool. Or if someone stops and says they like my outfit or my makeup or something like that, totally fine. Totally acceptable. I really appreciate the compliment. But if people come up to me and comment on my body and my body shape, that's not okay. If a man came up to me and said, oh, you're fit. No, I don't want them looking at my body. You know what I mean? Like, it's fine to look at decisions that I have made to like express myself, but just looking at my body and boiling me down to my body, absolutely not. I don't appreciate that. No one really appreciates that. 
if uh, a woman claims rape, she's automatically believed and she can ruin his life and there's nothing he can say about it. This one in absolutely no way, shape or form holds any sort of truth, period. The amount of women who claim rape falsely is so, so, so small. It is a very, very small minority of people who claim false cases of assault because they aren't even taken seriously if they are real and if they have a lot of proof. It is traumatic to report that sort of thing. So many of them go completely uninvestigated. So many of women are just completely dismissed, whether that be by friends, family, the police, etc. Most people do not care. They absolutely do not care. If you are one of the few people that end up going to court with someone who has assaulted you, it is an absolutely traumatic experience because the defense attorney spends the whole time victim blaming you and making it your fault. And ultimately, most of the time they get away with it and the woman has to live with shame. They can lose friends, they can lose families, they can lose jobs because they spoke up about an experience that happened to them while he gets nothing or like very, very minimal punishment. When I went forwards to the police and I talked about my experience with my abusive partner as a teenager, they went and talked to him and then called me and was like, he cried and he didn't know he did anything wrong. So can't do anything about it. Sorry. That was it. I've spent years in like trauma therapy and what? Nothing because no one cares. Everyone believes men over women in the law, in police, in court. The women are always second, no one cares. And it is a big problem. You should believe the person who is coming forward and speaking up about it because most of the time they are telling the truth and most of the time people do not hear them out. It is a big issue. Stop pushing a false narrative. So many more people are assaulted than are wrongly accused of assault. More men are assaulted than are falsely accused of assault. So surely you should be caring more about those men who are assaulted, usually by other men. Surely we should be listening to them more than people who are falsely accused, right? There's way more of them. Say you don't care about men, just say you hate women. Just say you hate women and you don't actually, you don't actually care, you just hate women. This is one of the most aggravating TikToks I've ever seen. There is absolutely no facts at all. And most of the comments were like, truth, you speak nothing but facts. Blah. It's the most, it's so gross. It's just hating women and pulling women down and you don't care about anyone. You just want male validation and approval. That's it. This man does not know how public health care works. Do you think that he knows that there is private health care alongside public health care? So like you can pay for health care still to get faster treatment. Did you, did he know you could do that? It also works on a priority basis. So if you're like dying, you're gonna go ahead of someone who isn't dying. They do do it on a priority basis. If it's life threatening, you go first. And also it is so classist to just be like, people don't die with private healthcare. No one's dying. You just pay and then you get visit, you get treated so quickly. The people who can't afford it don't, they die. There are people out there who have to decide whether or not they can afford to get cancer treatment. They have to decide whether or not they can afford to get tumors removed. Some people, a lot of people aren't able to be treated for so many things and end up having to live in pain or really ill, dying early, etc. because they can't afford it. It is ridiculously expensive. It is so, so disgusting how expensive healthcare is in the US. And this is one of the most ignorant things I've ever seen. Firstly, private healthcare still exists. And also just like not even just like treated for surgery and stuff. Things like getting insulin and medication are mostly covered, mostly subsidized. Here, medication is like nine pounds for most of it. And then at home in New Zealand, all prescriptions are $5, which is two pounds 50 or like three US dollars for all prescriptions. That way, you know, people don't have to like pay to stay alive. I don't know. 
just like a wild concept of people being able to actually access the medical care that they need without like dying. And this is the most stupid thing I've ever fucking seen. Oh, these TikToks make me so angry. Tell me you live in America without telling me you live in America. <laughs> my body, my choice, but you have to wear a mask and get vaccinated. Yeah, everyone should have freedom of speech, just not if I don't like what you're saying. I have the right to kill a baby, but you don't have the right to protect people with a gun. I'm fighting for equality, but I hate white people. The justice system is so corrupt, but I back up criminals. You can't assume my gender, but I can assume that all white people are racist and all cops are bad. Yeah, I think the government's super tyrannical and corrupt. That's why I want socialism. Yes, I'm a true follower of MLK, but I think we should segregate again. I hate all the things that the government's doing with my money, but tax the rich. Capitalism is terrible, but I love my new iPhone 13 and my warm, cozy house. Firstly, these are all bad takes. These... <laughs> he has no understanding of literally anything. Uh, and they just like to warp everything we say into however they want to see it and push whatever fucking narrative they want to. Um, but secondly, we all know what he's trying to say, right? Like, we all know what he's implying. He's just talking about the left and our beliefs and what we want. Um... And saying that the, the, that's America. Bro, do you not know that politics exist outside of the US? Do you not know that? Are you like completely oblivious to the fact that there are literally countries outside of the US? Please go outside and talk to a person. Politics literally everywhere. We have the same issues. We're all fighting the same fight, just in different countries and to different extents, depending on the country's current policies. But leftists exist literally everywhere. We are all having this conversation and this fight. You saying that this is what America looks like now. Bro, go on the internet. Just like open a window. I don't know. But like Jesus Christ, it's just politics. The US is not the only country. Oh my God. That is ridiculously ignorant. I don't even know how to begin to describe how stupid you sound. All the comments as well were like, too right, so true, only in America. Bro, what? All of you, go outside, talk to a person, look at a globe, look at a map, just like do, do something. Because what the fuck? What the fuck? And also just bad takes, educate yourselves, man. What do you, you don't understand anything. You just hear what your parents say and never question it. Anyway. I can't do this anymore. I have, like I said, so many TikToks in this folder because every single one I saw, I got angry at and I saved it. So like for part two, because I'll probably end up doing it at some point because these are important to talk about and they give me a fucking headache, but they are important. Ah, uh, so let me know if you want to see another one and I shall do that at some point. A huge thank you to all my Kiwi Fruit and Kiwi Bird channel members whose names are up on the screen right now. And a massive thank you to my channel member of the day, Rebecca. I love and appreciate you so, so much. Thank you so, so much for joining. If you would like to become a channel member, you can click the top link in the description or the little blue join button. You get my videos a day early. And as a Kiwi Bird member, you sometimes get little extra clips that don't make it into the main video. Don't forget to like and subscribe for part two, which I will do at some point. <laughs> uh, follow me on Instagram, the Queer Kiwi, and Twitter, that Queer Kiwi. I hope that you enjoy the rest of your day. Stay safe. Keep fighting. I love you. I just realized I'm not wearing earrings. I forgot to put my earrings in. I don't know who I am anymore. I am so sorry. I promise it won't happen again. I promise. Oh my God. Who am I becoming? I put makeup on for the first time in a month and forgot my earrings. What the fuck? I am so sorry. I hope that you forgive me. Okay, I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Mwah. <laughs>